This is Ken Latham from Coffee Crafters, and I'm here today with Don Lee Marlin from Blue Marlin Coffee. And I wanted to interview Don Lee because she's been using the new Artisan 9, and actually she's not just using it here in her home. She was she was our test subject, one of our local test subjects who put a lot of hours on the on the test machine, which uh, was exciting in the beginning, wasn't it, Don Lee? Yes, <laughs> uh, very much so. <laughs> there was always something new to learn uh, all the all the way through. Yeah, when Donnelly first uh, started uh, on our first prototype machine, we didn't quite have the gimbal down, you know, so we were trying different variations, and Donnelly would let us know how that worked. But one of the things I wanted to interview Don Lee about was the fact that you had the Artisan 6 for a um, couple of years. A couple of years, right? Yep. Rested on the Artisan 6, and you wanted the 9 to upgrade your production. Correct. And we have a lot of uh, Artisan 6 customers ask us, you know, well, how much more does it roast whatever mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so rather than have me tell them i thought i mm -hmm. would let you tell them sure. uh, what you're experiencing um, mm -hmm. in your roast times and the amount of volume you're you're putting through so right right what's the difference um <laughs> well definitely the one of the biggest differences is is the amount of time it takes you and the amount of coffee you can roast at one time um, with the old roaster you know i was doing five pounds at a time the artisan six with the Artisan 9, I can do 10. So right there, I'm doubling. Um, and in basically the same amount of time, it takes me approximately 10 minutes to do uh, a 10-pound roast. And it took me 10 to 12 minutes to do a 5-pound in the Artisan 6. So you can see where your production is just really enhanced uh, with the new roaster. Yeah, we set that production rate at um, 45 pounds an hour, which is very, very conservative because we, even on nine pound loads in the shop, remember mm -hmm. we were turning down the heat to like seven and a half yes. uh, out of 10. And I heard from several other roasters today who've just got theirs up and running. Mm -hmm. And they're telling me the same story that they're getting 50 pounds an hour out of it. Um, once it heats up after the first load, because the first load is a minute or two, right, longer. Is that Correct. Your experience Correct. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, what about the other features? Uh, you're getting used to the uh, hopper on the top. Uh, yes, I love that. Um, once again, it's all about production and the speed. So once you've dumped the uh, beans into the hopper here from up above here, you can instantly put in your next 10 pounds or however many pounds you want to roast. It's ready to go. Um, when you are finished and you dump this load, the minute you put this back on, you can dump the next one and just start in again. Um, one of the biggest things for me was that I love is I don't have to turn the heat off. Uh, with the Artisan 6, what I would have to do is shut the heat off when I um, turn the blower um, off and dump the beans because my unit would heat up and then it would automatically shut off. I think it was at 570 degrees or something like that. I can't remember the exact. Oh, your high temperature switch. Yeah, down. and it would automatically shut it off. And so now I can just go one batch after another. The temp is hardly affected at all. Um, it's been really easy to figure out what temperature to roast at. Um, and I just, I, I just, it's been really seamless, quite frankly. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. The, uh, the production uh, gain was just one thing, but one of the things with the Artisan 9 is uh, we did redesigned the uh, plenum on the back. Because remember the lid of your roaster would get mm -hmm. warm after you're doing back-to-back -back yes. roasting. This one doesn't get hot, does it? <laughs> no, not at all. I I don't know how many times when I'm fumbling around and doing things that I'll get close or I'll just intuitively put my hand on it. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. You can get your hand up. Yeah. Hand up close. Now you have a pink roaster, so we want yes. to be sure and tell everybody that this is not a color that we stock. But Donnelly <laughs> was so nice and spending all those hours. I I you had countless hours on this machine in the in the shop in our prototype. So we decided to do something special for Don Lee because she likes pink. Uh, so it might be the only pink roaster ever that we're, <laughs> that we're gonna do. And, oh, and you have your pink t-shirt on oh, today yes, too. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, we gotta um, do the pink thing today. Yeah, so you, so you like that. Um, the light in the hopper, are you getting enough light out of that where you can oh, see Oh, okay? absolutely. I, I love that. Um, it's funny because I'm, not, I'm still getting used to that. Um, when I come in here, I start things up and then I'm like, oh gosh, I have a light. I can actually see down in there and see what's going on. I forget that it's there yeah. and then turn it on after the fact. 
Yeah, and then you can take that lens out and clean it when it gets dirty and put it right, in the dishwasher right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, great. I just wanted to stop by. I wanted to talk to you about how you like your roaster because I know you've been roasting with it uh, for a while now. Um, you seem to be experiencing about what we're experiencing, and it was nice to hear from people in the field again that mm -hmm. um, we set the capacity of the roaster at nine pounds. Um, one of the things with the Artisan 6 that customers experienced, and those of you that have an Artisan 6 out there, if you roast in a cold climate and you had it turned all the way up, it would actually overpower the, the roaster and you'd have to roast a smaller batch. The Artisan 9, even roasting 10 pound batches, you don't have it turned up on high, do you? <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't. And no, I never have had to. Yeah. A lot there's... of, there's a lot of extra, a lot, a lot of extra heat in there. And it really doesn't hurt it to go back to back. It doesn't mm -hmm. overheat. We got the plenum cooling the heat chamber in there and, and it works really good. Yeah, I thought one other feature that um, is really helpful if you are roasting inside of a building and not outside is this, which is a new addition. Um, I, before when I was roasting with the six, um, after several batches and especially at the higher temperatures when there's more oil in the beans and you get more smoke right um i was finding my basement you know had a nice hue to it you know and now that i have this i don't have that anymore yeah and you're in close quarters in here I, i'm not yeah. sure how big this room is that you're roasting i in. think it's only like a 10 by 11 probably yeah something like yeah. you have a beautiful setup in here though you got all your stuff yeah organized it's pretty in efficient <laughs> but I, the smoke was one of the big things and that was one of the reasons why we added the hood because when we had the larger batch capacities mm -hmm. we used to have a swivel on there we actually had a roaster model before this uh, we sold a few of those uh, prototypes but um, we noticed the smoke too and you're you have more than one business here in the basement, right? Yes, yes. Because behind me that you yes. can see is your hair salon. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I don't really want to be smoking my clients Yeah, out. exactly. And then on the other side is Dave's film studio. Yeah, so yeah. that's kind of a cool thing to have that. Yeah. Well, great. It was great to stop by and talk to you. I'm glad you like your pink roaster, which Love matches it. your pink, pink shirt and all the other pink things that you wear. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is Ken Lathan from Coffee Crafters, and thanks for watching.